Hi, I'm Keith. In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to configure the products and categories inside Plan Plus Online. Okay, here we are inside of our Plan Plus Online account. I'm over on the Account tab, so you click Account Setup, and then under this top right box, ERP Backend, you'll click on Product Category. And right now, I don't have any products or any categories set up. So let's say that I'm going to have a couple of different product categories. I'm going to have Construction. So whether it's construction, whether it's cosmetics, or whether you're looking at more of a category like home, life, and auto, let's say you're in insurance sales, you can create those categories just like in many other places in our system. If you see boxes and you fill them up and you need more, you'd simply click set up. Now if I were to go in there and I wanted more categories, you'll see I've got more blank lines. As it is, I've now got my categories set up so I can go into those categories and I can create new products. So I click New Product, and let's say I'm going to sell 2x4s. My product key, this, is, this could be your SKU, this is really any value that you want to make up. Notice here that the, the red asterisk is required field, all the others are not required. The price is what you sell for, the cost is what you buy for, so hopefully your price is more than your cost. Unit of measurement, and whether it's taxable and the tax rate. You can set that up. Pretty simple tax rate calculations here. You'll, you'll see down below that you have some additional options. So you can have advanced pricing. You can set up price lists. So a price list would be... So let's say you have different price lists for your A, B, and C customer, your best customers, that kind of thing. Go back to summary back to summary. So now that I've got two price lists set up, I can set a price for each one of those. Now you may need to go back to your product category setup. Now that you got your price list set up, I've got my boards, so I click into boards, and you'll see now under advanced pricing I've got a price list. So I've got an A list, and let's say for my A list customers it's 275, and let's say for my B customers it's to 85. So you can actually have different pricing for different levels of customers. Now over here under graphics and text, you can upload files. So I upload that image. Now I've got my image uploaded. I can upload documents and materials. This is a 2x4 so I don't have too many documents and materials, but let's say I had a help manual for a product. I could load it here. Your products can have custom fields. We talk about custom fields in another training. So that's how you would set up your product categories. Now, products can be used in, in a few places inside of the system, primarily along with opportunities. When you create a new opportunity, when you create a new opportunity, for instance, you can associate a product with a particular opportunity. And right here, I would be able to select my price list. Now in the quote tab, you can create new quotes and from inside of a quote you can also attach the products as well. And again you can run various reports based on products, closed, closed opportunity reports based on product line. So that's, that's going to be why you want to import your products into Plan Plus Online. 